All right, my first attempt of doing my civil hub rebuild, bearing, front bearings, and also I had to change the CV on this side because it started to make a bit of noise. Uh, stick around and check it out. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Okay, the first thing to do is make sure your, fruit, your hubs are in free. And take off the. Yeah, if you actually do have that on, uh, have your have on lock, this will always come out and you've got to all put it all back together, which is a prick. Put him off to the side. So, in here, you've got little cone washers as well. You need a brass drift. It's loosened. I usually do these one at a time because they can come flying off pretty hard as well and you lose them. Got it off. Yeah, she's gone flying. There's a little circlip. clip. Yeah, this should just pull off. Two bolts. And what you can do is just secure it up against here with a bit of tie wire. She might be a bit tight. So you might have to leave her off. Okay, so that's, that's your ABS sensor. What I'll do with that is, so mine's all full of grit, which I'll clean up later. I want to keep it pretty clean. So I'm just gonna put it in the glove. Just take my time out of the way. So yeah, if you've got a nut here, you also look at looking for it in the grease. You got a little locking tab. You have to get rid of. Fashion down. you to get the socket on. These can be on pretty tight. Can be a bit of a prick. So that's the first locking one off. Then the screwdriver. Just grab the plug. The lock washer. You can see there there's a tad bent back. And then you've got another locking nut. This one should be a lot looser. Also a little hot tip, if you buy one of these, don't buy one like I did with the 3.8, get a half inch drive in it. So you end up snapping them when they're up really tight. Alright, so that's the other one off. Now in here, there's a little seal, a little washer, flat washer. When you pull these, this should just come out. Put your fingers in there, because if you do it in, out, if you have to do this out in a bush, it'll fall out in the dirt. There's your there's a locking, uh, there's a washer, there's a the bearings. All right, so we want to take off this shield, and this is your dust shield for the, um, dust seal for the ABS. We'll take that off. This also holds your spindle on as well, so pretty important to do it up tight later on. All right, that's the spindle. Looks like there's a bit of uh, water that's gotten in there. That should just belt off now. 
There you go, pops out. And you can see the CV just sitting there. Right, so now we pull apart the, pull out the CV, that should just pop out. Sometimes you do. There we go, she's popped out. So that's the CV, long one. I am changing this, but it's a good idea to wrap them. All right, now it's the fun job. Okay, before I actually take these off, I'm actually going to pull out the tie rod. So I'll do that now. There is a split pin in here as well, I've already removed my one. Put him on a bit, just to protect it. And what you want to do is give it a big hit here with a mash hammer. out okay so I'll loosen all these off so I've got cone washers in here that they've been jammed in there but if you wiggle that they're slowly coming out they're just full of gunk oh, there we go the tire rod should pop out pick up these cone washers before I lose them Take off the nut. All right, so he's out. Put him off to the side. Yep. Pull him out again. As I said earlier, make sure you don't lose that or reuse it. So now we're just taking off where the felt's going. Or cake and grease as you expect, it's just a 10 mil socket. It's easy to use a 38 10 mil. A ratchet spanner even works wonders. Okay, Oop, there's a bearing that dropped out. There's a hub, got the front of the hub anyway. It's just uh, one of the bearings that go on a swivel. Thing. Pull out the bearing out. Take off the gasket. And tie just put them in the wrong order. Normally the steel thing comes out first. And then the rubber. And then that. I'll show you which order they go in in a minute. Alright, so last thing to do is to clean up this, clean up all the parts. Alright, so now we're going to pull out the seal, everything's all cleaned up. Uh, definitely invest in one of these, it makes life a lot easier than using a screwdriver. There we go, finally got onto it. A bit battered, but you get that on the big jobs. Chuck him off over there, do a bit of clean. 